Hello and welcome to another Lawrence Academy screencast. Today we're going to be talking about graphing quadratic equations in standard form. Uh, equations in standard form are in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals y, as we can see here. So this is what we're going to call standard form. Um, and equations in standard form, um, you still want to solve them the same way um, as, uh, as far as graphing them. Um, um, but in this case, the first thing you need to do is you need to find a vertex. So a vertex is located um, at h comma k. Right? So that's where the vertex is in, um, in a quadratic equation. Uh, in this case, right, looking at here, we see no real spot where the h and k are. Um, so in order to do that, we need to plug in the equation that will allow us to find the vertex. And the equation to do that is at negative b over 2a comma f of negative b over 2a. And I know this looks a little bit um, confusing at first, um, but this is how we will find h and k. So ultimately, h is going to be here, and k is going to be here. Um, and this one, uh, this part right here, the second part for k, um, that is going to be um, the function um, that we're, we're using evaluated when x is negative b over 2a. So I think the easiest way for this to make sense is just for us to do it in practice. So let's try one on our own. So here we have um, our first quadratic equation. We have y equals x squared plus 10x plus 3. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the vertex using this formula right here. So we're going to look for h and k. So h is going to be equal to negative b over 2a. right? So in this case, negative b is negative 10 over 2 times a. a is 1, so that's 2. So in our case, h is located at um, negative 5. Okay, so now that we have h, we can plug this into the equation, um, negative 5 into the equation for x. All right, so we're going to do that. Let's find k. So k, we plug in 5 in any time we see an x. All right, so it's going to be 5 squared, which is 25, plus a negative 5 times 10, which is negative 50, plus 3. All right, so k here is going to be equal to 25 minus 50 is negative 25 plus 3 is negative 22. All right, so there's our vertex here. Our vertex is located at negative 5 comma negative 22. All right, so we can plot that point. I'm going to just have this scaled a little bit differently. Um, let's scale it so each one is worth, say, 5. So that puts me there. It's 5, 10, 10, 15. So it's going to be somewhere right around here um, is our vertex. All right, so that part is the tricky part. Um, finding the, the next part, so let's look for the y-intercept here. So in order to find the y-intercept, it's actually very easy in standard form. So as we remember, the y-intercept is located when x is 0. You plug in 0 for x here. You plug in 0 for x there. Uh, we get 0 plus 0 equal, uh, plus 3 equals y, so y will be equal to 3. So 3 is the y-intercept. Right? We'll have a, a point symmetric on the other side, right? which will be right over there. Um, and that's something that we, we talked about earlier in, um, in graphing these equations. That part doesn't change. The point symmetric is still there. So we have the y-intercept is going to be located at 0, uh, 3. Um, the point symmetric is going to be located at um, 10 comma 3. Or, I'm sorry, negative 10 comma 3. Um, and now all we need to do is find the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts are going to be, um, you know, that's the last part of the puzzle that we need to solve here. So the first thing we should look to do is to factor it. Um, so I know a times c is 3. So I need something that multiplies out, two numbers that multiply out to be 3 um, that add up to be 10. So this is not going to be factorable. Right? So we're going to have to use a quadratic formula. Um, so let's, let's take a look at what that would look like. So as we remember, um, the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 100, 
or 10 squared is 100, minus 4ac minus 4 times 1 times 3 is 12, all over 2a, 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, we're left with negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 88, all over 2. Um, and we're going to just round this a little bit um, to get our answer. Uh, square root of 88 is approximately 9.4. Um, so it's negative 10 plus 9.4 over 2. Um, and that would give us x is equal to negative 0.3. And then we also have um, negative 10 plus or minus 9.4. Uh, 9 I'm sorry, negative 10 minus 9.4 over 2, which would give us negative 9.7. All right, so our um, x's, all right, so our two x-intercepts, uh, we said is negative 0.3 and 0, and um, negative 9.70. So those are our two x-intercepts, so let's put those in our graph. And I'm just going to kind of ballpark this here. That should be right around there, the negative 9.7, and then the 0.3 should be right around there. Um, so the last thing that we need to do is we need to graph this guy. Um, and I'm actually going to be using um, the stylus here, so it's not going to be perfect, but I'll do the best I can. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's not great, um, but I think you guys get the idea. Um, so... Obviously, the, the scaling issues, um, you guys are going to be able to do this more precisely. Um, but essentially, the key indicator or the, the key uh, factor in, in being able to do these is being able to use this equation right here to find um, the vertex. If you can do that, you can graph these. All right, so it becomes the exact same problem as what we did when we were graphing in vertex form. You can find the vertex, you're good. So as we are accustomed, now that we've walked through one together, I am going to give you a few examples to try on your own. Remember this equation, guys. This will be key to being able to graph in standard form. You can do this. You can do it. So let's give it a shot. Best of luck to you. Here comes your practice problems. Thank you guys for watching. Here's your smiley face. You guys have a nice day.